All right, I'm going to show you another thing I figured out. If I take this and I disconnect it from gaze A, up with a bloop that doesn't track things at all. So, right now he's looking at me. If I move just far enough to be out of his view, though, he immediately loses sight of me. And it can be really tough to get his attention again. All right, now he's looking at me. Get him to walk, he'll walk towards me, but as soon as his path diverges even slightly from me, he won't, if his path diverges from me, he won't turn to follow me. Instead, he'll just keep going in a straight line and eventually lose sight of me. not being able to move his eyes or his head to follow him, even though he doesn't move his eyes or his head. He's, it's a deeper problem. And I'll show you this by showing you um, a gloop that can't move his eyes or his head. Okay. So, if I do both of the if I disconnect both head P and eye P, I've got a, a gloop that can't move his eyes or his head. looking at me. And if I get him to walk, you'll see a big difference. Lost sight of me, but if I turn slowly enough that he can not completely lose sight of me, you'll see he does follow me when I turn doesn't just keep going straight. If I'm even slightly off the path of the one with the visual salience disconnected, he will just walk past me. But this one will turn to keep me in sight. He can't turn his head or his eyes, but he can turn his whole body when he's walking, and he does that. He lost sight of me this time. Got inside of me again. So it's a more basic level problem, the visual.
his assailant's problem. His salient's problem. It's not just not being able to move their head or, or their eyes to follow things. It's more like they can't even think of trying to follow, trying to follow something. 